Hi, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you are welcome to the short word for today's audio daily devotion. This is an audio narration of the written short word for today's daily devotion published every day and sent to our subscribers. One word from God can do more than a million human words to relieve a distressed soul. We are not here today by accident. God has predestined you and he has a word for you. The foundation of the sure word for today is Luke chapter 4 verses 18 and 19, quoting from the King James Version. Quote, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord." Unquote. You can help spread the faith by subscribing to our YouTube channel and sharing the link with your friends and loved ones. If you have not already subscribed, please do so and click the bell icon so you can receive instant notification anytime we publish a new series. Thank you and God bless you. The affirmation for this week's short word for today, I'm making the most of my opportunities. The short word for today devotion is a reading of the short word for today's devotion published every day on our website. You can visit our website for more resources. If you want to send in your prayer request, feel free as you take the time to fill out the prayer request form on our home page at www.theshoreword.org. UK. Welcome to the reading of the Word of God from the Sure Word for Today. The Sure Word for Today is the abundance of the free favor of the Lord. This week's title for the Sure Word for Today's series is Boss Your Time, Part 4 of 7. All Bible quotations are from the King James Version unless otherwise stated. This week's Bible verse is from the book of Ephesians chapter 5, verses 15 and 16. Here is the Bible verse quote. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Unquote. The logic about bossing your time is not a mint. It is not psychology. It is real. If you are arrogant, there will be no cooperation of your time. God created the world and everything to enhance your progress in life. There is the law of attraction. You attract what you respect. If you respect your time, your time will respect you and give you ideas on how to be effective with your time. The arrogant boss is on their own. They don't have the full potential of their staff because these people don't like being around their arrogance. It is the same with your time. Your time will avoid collaborating with you when you are arrogant to your time. I know you wonder why I should be describing your time as a person. I am because your time is a person and you are the boss of this person. Already you know, time is a noun. Here is a quote from Albert Einstein. I quote, Time has no independent existence apart from the order of events by which we measure it." Unquote. Time from Albert Einstein quote is tied up with all things related to humans. In other words, time cannot possibly exist without reference to our world. On the other hand, the world will continue to exist even without time. But humans need to make sense of their consciousness and existence about events, places and things, so they devise a way to manage, distinguish and determine past, present and future. Hence, the construct of time which humans need to agree that they have lived, are living and will potentially live at a certain point in life. But here is more. Einstein also said, the separation 
between past, present, and future is only an illusion, bringing humans into a timeless existence. In other words, humans are all living in the now, the past and the future co-occurring with the present. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Faith is now, not yesterday, not tomorrow. Without time, there will be no rotation of the head. Time shows you what really matters. The only time is now. Please, enjoy today. We have reached the end of part 4 of the Sure World Audio Devotion series titled, Boss Your Time. We are getting ready to read God's words, the Sure World Capsule by Jefferson Otombara Ingbi. I would like you to read this at least once, twice or three times a day. Whatever you are going through, this word will help you. If you start with me and repeat every word that I read, you will be blessed. Do not leave gaps in this recording. I will join you to repeat the short word capsule. This is the day the Lord has made. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I am my superhero. I am my superhero. I refuse to give up. I refuse to give up because I have not tried all possible ways. Because I have not tried all possible ways. I am adventurous. I am adventurous. I overcome fear by following my dreams. I overcome fear by following my dreams. I will not compare myself to strangers on the internet. I will not compare myself to strangers on the internet. I will not compare myself to anyone. I will not compare myself to anyone. I am a loving person. I am a loving person. I am purposeful. I am purposeful. I am created with divine intention. I am created with divine intention. I feed my spirit. I feed my spirit. I train my body. I train my body. I focus my mind. I focus my mind. It is my time to excel. It is my time to excel. I am in charge of how I feel. I am in charge of how I feel. And today, I am choosing happiness. And today, I am choosing happiness. I have the power to create change. I have the power to create change. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I deserve the best. I deserve the best. And I accept the best now. And I accept the best now. I get things done fast. I get things done fast. I never put things off. I never put things off. I am a doer. I am a doer. I act quickly. I act quickly. I am motivated to finish my tax. I am motivated to finish my tax. I have the willpower to do my assignments. I have the willpower to do my assignments. I am a proactive person. I am a proactive person. I am fully committed to achieving my goals. I am fully committed to achieving my goals. I cast unto God, I cast unto God, every anxiety and depression, every anxiety and depression. I am feeling right now, I am feeling right now. And the Lord has embraced, and the Lord has embraced, extinguished, extinguished and crushed the anxiety and depression and crushed the anxiety and depression. I am like a tree planted. I am like a tree planted by the rivers of water, by the rivers of water. I bring forth fruit. I bring forth fruit in my season, in my season. My leaf shall not wither. My leaf shall not wither. And whatsoever I do will prosper. And whatsoever I do will prosper. The grace of God, the grace of God, makes my mistakes prosper, makes my mistakes prosper. I walk in the light of the word of God. I walk in the light of the word of God and live by the word of faith, and live by the word of faith. I declare that today, I declare that today, this city and country I live in, 
this city and country I live in will yield its fruit for me, will yield its fruit for me, and I shall eat my fill, and I shall eat my fill, and dwell in this city and country in safety, and dwell in this city and country in safety. I am not sick, I am not sick. My Lord has healed me of all kinds of disease. My Lord has healed me of all kinds of disease. God has not given me a spirit of fear. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. But of power, love, and a sound mind. I overcome every fear with the blood of Jesus. I overcome every fear with the blood of Jesus. I decree and declare that I have a sound mind. I decree and declare that I have a sound mind. By faith, by faith, we believe that those things we pray, we believe that those things we pray, we receive, we receive, and we have them, and we have them in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We have reached the end of the Sure Word Audio Devotion and the Declaration of the Sure Word Capsule. Please visit www.thesureword.org.uk for more capsules tailored to meet your specific needs. You can also put a request for a capsule to be created for any challenge you are having. Thank you for listening and confessing along. Please, don't forget to share this audio devotion. I will also love it if you can subscribe and click the bell icon so you can get the notification anytime we post a new audio devotion. Have a gorgeous day and may God continue to bless you, enlarge your course and increase your substance. Amen. Thank mm-hmm. you.